<laughs> how are you, sir? Good, you? Good, this is Rob McDermott. Hi, Hi. Rob, how nice you doing? Nice to meet you. How are you? Go on. Andre Martin. Andre. Diane. Nice to meet you. Homeowner. You're the homeowner. How are you? Go ahead. You got, you got unwanted guests? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So it's, it's up in this shed up here? Yeah. yeah. Right. They'll stay back here if you guys don't mind. <laughs> All right. Good smell her. See her yet? No, there's a bunch of scat back there, though. Oh, I can hear her. Yeah. Oh, she's got a bunch of young ones. She ain't gonna be happy with us. No. There yeah. she is. You see her? Yeah. That's the mother? Okay. They have been there for a little while. They've actually done some damage to the shed. They're in the back right corner, and they're not happy that we're there. Does she have a five-gallon bucket, maybe? Because if we can, yeah. Something that we can get her out, because she's gonna be pretty upset. That would be perfect. Yeah, that'd be perfect. You can have it. That'd be perfect. Yeah, you're not gonna want it back. <laughs> okay, Rob, so how this works, that's the loop. You're gonna put it around his neck, and when you get it there, you're gonna wanna pull it and put it tight. All right, okay. sounds good. The snare pole is just kind of, uh, it's a little safer for myself and then for the animal as well, so they don't get injured. You want me to do a flashlight while you do a snare pole? Yeah, that'd be good. Get the pole right over here. Oh, get ready. She's coming to me. There she goes. OK, she's in the corner. Now she's back. This will be a game of cat and mouse. Obviously, the raccoon knew that the shed better than me. It had holes and places to go. You want to kind of scare her this way? Yep. <laughs> she just got a tap, I think, between them all. There she is, right there. Behind her. Now she's going to come again. She's coming to you again. Cat and mouse. Still got her? Yeah, still got her over here. OK, I'm going to try to keep her your way. Hey, she's coming your way. Coming back. <laughs> you got her? No. no. I'm trying to keep her on his side, and he's trying to catch her. It's a little entertaining, but I think Rob's doing just fine on the other side. She's coming your way. Yeah. She's right next to your you guys look, found something like they're in a wrestling match over there. Yeah. Try not to hurt her. That's the key. We got to snare her to hold her. But as soon as she's in this bucket, we'll be able to relay her somewhere safer and out of this shed. Sounds like you're losing, Rob. Yeah, she's climbing up. Hold on. I'm going to get her. Now, that's some confidence. That's what I'm looking for. Coming out with the cooler. Get it? Got her. Nice. <laughs> All right, release it. Look at that. She was pissed. Oh, yeah, she was mad. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can find something small to keep the lid open just a touch so she has a little bit of air, but sure as heck can't get out. You want to hold that? Yeah. There we go. That's enough for her to breathe. Now tighten it up. Perfect. OK, let's figure out how many little ones we have. Yeah, the mother raccoon looked really healthy. Uh, she moved around just fine, acted very normal. Oh, here you go. They're not going to be thrilled, but they're going to live to see another day, so. All right, there's one. How many do you see? I see three right now. Three, OK. The young ones, just like they always are, cuddled up in a ball, uh, pretty chill. So uh, on my end, everything looks nice. We'll get them out of here and back into the wild. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Nice work. Take a good look in there and see if there's any more. Those are old enough to move. 
think we got them all, so that's that's a good thing. All right, I think we're good. That's it. That's it. We'll get them relocated somewhere far away. Feel good, Rob? Feel good. All right. Yeah. I'll take the little ones. You can take the mother. Thank you. Okay. I'd say it's a twenty pounder. <laughs> When you brought her out, I'm like, ooh, she's not small. <laughs> First time wrestling a raccoon, Rob? Uh, I've dealt with little guys before, but not, not this size. You can check that off the list. That was quite the scream she had. Oh, man. That sounded like a human. <laughs> that was crazy. She was looking right up at me. <laughs> <laughs> the spot I'm thinking will be out quite a ways, but there's also some good brooks in the area for them to do some good foraging and fishing for the young ones. And what do you think, decent spot? Yeah, good spot. I think we'll set up the little ones first, right? All right. Good? How do they look? Reasonable? Reasonable. If we put the that box on a side and put the lid off so that we open the mother, she sees them. And it just totally brings the attention to them. Can't believe she's not kind of rocking around in there. I feel great. All the raccoons today, they look very healthy. Mother ran off very healthily, no issues at all. The mother scurried off. I say we, what do you think, snuggle them up under the logs there? Yeah. She'll be back within a couple hours once things settle down and all our scent has moved on a little ways. The babies, when I was putting them under the log, they looked very healthy. They were breathing well. Fur wasn't matted or anything. We feel comfortable that the scent of those uh, babies will allow her to come back tonight and grab them. This is one of those instances that they took up residence in a shed where the, you know, the homeowner doesn't want them there. Nice. Uh, they caused a little bit of damage, so we got them out of there safely. They all look healthy, and now they're back out in the wilderness having a good time. Good work. For a first day with Rob, I think it was really good. Um, he's got a real good base knowledge of, you know, the outdoors. He's easy going. I, th I think in, you know, a couple months' time, he's going to come right around and be really good to fill our ranks.